Hello everyone, thank you for watching Edipedia World videos. In this video, we learn about the SAP cursor cache. Okay, now the SAP system has a cursor cache that stores the cursors for select statements to avoid time consuming prepare processing. This is SAP basis training, so every SAP basis administrator they should have at least some basic knowledge about the underlying database. So here, uh, why I'm telling this is because cursors, cursors are nothing but in database, they are a temporary stored area. Okay, you run an SQL statement. Okay, so it has to be parsed first. Okay, then after that, it will be compiled. Okay, so there are some stages for the execution of an SAP statement. Okay, so then it's uh, then the it has to an execution plan has to be generated okay so all these things internally the uh, database takes care of them so cursors are nothing but they are a temporary data stored area whenever you run a select statement okay so you uh, you divide the select statement into different parts okay the execution plan and the result data set set whatever it is so so a temporary store area for all these things is known as a cursor so similarly in sap we have a cursor cache which stores these cursors for the select statements which avoids the time consuming prepare processing say like for the same statement if the execution plan and everything were already there so next time when you run the same uh, sql statement then the plan and everything need not be generated again so such things are kept in this cursor cache and this cache has a fixed size and cannot be tuned so initially only we will set a specific size for this cursor cache the sap cursor cache helps to improve the system performance by reducing the number of parsing of sql statements it is database dependent okay so first during the execution phase of an SQL query, the first thing is parsing. Okay, see, like you execute an SQL statement, so it's parsed. Okay, and that is kept in this cursor cache. So the next time when you run the same SQL statement, you need not parse it again because it is it it is time consuming. Okay, so you will reduce the amount of time, which will improve the performance okay because that the parsed statement is already there in the cursor cache so next time whenever we run the same sql again and again it will be easy for us and we have two types of cursor caches one is the statement id cache and the other is the actual statement cache okay so for every sql statement we have the and cache which holds the statement id and second one is we have the actual statement cache the source of each sql uh, statement in the sap system whatever it is abab in pro or whatever it is assigns an id to its open or native sql statement okay so the id includes the module name that's the report name the line number and the time of the abab generation okay so every sql statement has an id okay so this id has the report name then the statement number that's the line number where this sql statement in which line of the ABAP report is presented and the timestamp the time at which this id is generated okay statement id provides an easy way to recognize statements there may be different statement ids for one statement for example different abap programs do, doing the same select right so when we talk about the statement id it has the report name the line number and the time stamp in which generated so the same sql statement can be used in different abap reports so for the same sql statement we will have a number of statement ids the statement analyzer the statement analyzer eliminates duplicities 
When it receives an SQL statement, this database interface module checks if the statement is simple or complex. If the statement ID is simple, it assigns a normalized statement ID. This analyzer is called by the RSQL or the OpenSQL interface. If it's able to assign a normalized ID, the original ID is replaced. So the statement analyzer, what it does, it eliminates such duplicates. Okay, if it finds any duplicates, because one statement ID, if it's used in different ABAP programs, okay, or if they are generated at different times, it will have different statement IDs. So the statement analyzer, it it eliminates that dupl uh, duplicates and it assigns a normalized statement ID. So cursor cache is nothing but it stores the cursors for the select statements. So this will work very efficiently by reducing the parsing of an SQL statement. So the same statement need not be parsed again, again and again. It's already once if it's parsed and if the execution plan and if everything is kept in the cursor, is a uh, cursor cache, then next time if you run the same SQL, it is whatever that the prepare processing, the parsing plan is there, it will use it. So it has two uh, parts, the, the ID, statement ID cache and the statement cache. Okay. So the ID points to the actual statement in the statement cache. And what is the statement ID? The statement ID is nothing but for an SQL, a statement ID includes the report, the module name, the line number and the time of the web generation. Okay. And the statement analyzer, it eliminates duplicates because every statement can have n number of statement IDs. Okay. So if there are any duplicates in that the statement analyzer uh, it it filters all that so this is about sap cursor cache so that's why initially when the system is built you have to put in a cursor cache also okay this will if it's fine if it's the then the size should be optimal it cannot be changed again okay and this cursor cache it plays a very important role because once the statement is parsed it is kept in the cache okay and next time if you run the same SQL the same whatever it's because it's already parsed and kept in the cache it will use it again it need not spend some time to parse it so it will improve our performance so this is about uh, SAP cursor caching thank you